Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Uh, in the last episode, we got partway through the Heart Home Gym, and I decided that the video would be way too long if we did the whole thing. So, yeah. Um, instead of actually, like, speeding up and post-commentating through the battles in this gym, I figured it'd probably be more fun to actually, like, talk about the battles, because, I don't know, that just seems like a better idea to me. I don't know about you guys. And, ha! The shoe is on the other foot this time. I am the one who is going to stockpile troll the living crap out of you, except I'm not actually going to do that. Um, holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Zap, you kick ass. Um, so, yeah, it, it, if you watched the lap last episode, there was a Drifloon that sat here and trolled me for, like, forever. And way to use a super potion, you dickhole. How does this, how does this Drifloon have so much less HP than me? Because I would have been, like, two-thirds full after that. And way to keep getting the critical hit, Zap. You kick ass. Um, now, I'm pretty sure basically under every circumstance that Astonish will do more damage than Payback. Unless... Unless... Uh, well, Because Payback's one of those moves that, like, if your opponent hits you for damage before you use Payback, then it'll do more damage. Like, it'll double its attack power to 100. But I'm faster than this other Drifloon. Dude, would you stop missing, please? Seriously. Like, you're going to die to a Pokemon that's way lower level than you. Um, well, by way lower level, I mean one level lower. But still, it's like, what the hell? Are you serious? Are you serious? God damn it! Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I guess I'll send out Snuggles, because it'd probably be the best against ghost types for what I have left. Um, but, yeah, um... There was a Drifloon in the last episode that stockpiled trolled the living crap out of me. It just stockpiled until I was about to kill it, and then used Swallow and got its, all of its HP back, which is... You're not, you don't even learn stockpile until level 22! How, how are you using this? This is just so broken! What is wrong with this gym? And also, that other one shouldn't have known Swallow, too, I'm pretty sure, because I don't think you learn that until a little bit later. Ugh... Man, some of these trainers in this gym, man, it's just ridiculous. And I know these things because I have, I have my own Drifloon to test these theories out. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back. Man, that is a lot harder to do when you have, like, a chest infection, like I do, because I am an idiot, and got myself sick for a Mega Man 4 race, and that was totally actually my own fault, but whatever. Um, I guess Payback will probably do more damage. I actually looked it up, and Astonish only has a 30 base power, and Payback has 50, I'm pretty sure. I've, I didn't actually look up what Payback had, but uh, if Astonish has 30 and Payback has 50, then... Payback will always be stronger if they're both super effective. That's just, like, an actual thing that happens. I don't know why I felt the need to say that's a thing that happens. Um, but, yeah, this gym is surprisingly difficult. Like, um, every time I play this game, I think this is actually probably the hardest gym in the game. Um, personally. Just because, um, the gym leader's still a little bit overleveled. I need water, or else I'm gonna have a big coughing fit. Ugh. Oh my god, that was so close to, to like, dying. Um, but, yeah, the the gym leader is still a little bit overleveled, and it's another one of those fights where the gym leader has, like, one of those really bulky Pokemon that's, like, really fast and has really sp high special attack, and it just, like, destroys everything in its path. Um, and it's it feels a little unfair, and I would not be surprised at all if I lost against the gym leader, just because, like, it's a really, really hard fight. I'm gonna put the slinky, like, I have to put the slinky away from where I'm, like, sitting, or else I'm just gonna sit here and play with it, like, the entire video. Thank you for not hitting yourself in the face, Zap. I approve of you not killing yourself, which, I don't know if it would do 13 HP of damage, but definitely, like, that Ghastly probably would have sucker punched me and killed me. Sucker Punch is a really good move for competitive battling, but, like, if you're playing single player, it's pretty eh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die here. Great. I'm gonna have to go back and heal between every single one of these fights, aren't I? That's gonna be a little bit annoying. Um, but... 
Uh, yeah, Sucker Punch is a really good move for competitive battling because what it does is if the opponent is using an attacking move, you get priority and you attack first with Sucker Punch. And it's got decent power and like it's it's dark type which isn't really bad against a lot of types like dark type is a pretty universal type for like decent for attacking um because it's like good against like rock and uh now it's decent against steel uh i can't really think of anything off the top of my head that it's not good against other than dark and fighting uh oh they got a haunter eh oh you and your freaking haunter dreams and you're haunting haunting all of my I, my dreams with your mystical body of like floating f awkward face-ish thing. I don't even know. I don't even know what I was going for there. That was really, really awful string of words. Um, thank you for killing me. Man, I'm gonna have a really hard time in this gym. I feel like I should go and grind. Like, in all honesty, I really do. Because I have the Versus Seeker now, so that wouldn't be so hard to go back and grind. But like, it's a pain in the ass and... I just don't want to do it, and I'm lazy, and I'm pretty sure I figured out what type of hidden power uh, Booger has. I'm pretty sure it's hidden power dragon. I'm not entirely sure, because it seems to be, like, mediocre against everything. Like, it's times one against, like, almost everything that I've used it against. So, the only type that's times one against, like, everything except for steel is dragon. And I haven't tried it on a steel type yet. Dude, would you, like, do something other than punch yourself in the face? You... Like, seriously. D Jesus. Ah. Oh. God, I'm gonna lose this battle to this fucking haunter. Like, I swear to God. This is ridiculous. Oh, right. Tertiary learned bite. I forgot about that. If, if it didn't learn bite, then I would have been so screwed right there. Like, you have no idea. I would have lost, like, completely, because Razor Leaf would not do jack to that Haunter. That is just, like, a really annoying Pokemon, just in general, is Haunter. Um, especially to fight against. I mean, if you have one, I'll power for you. Also, that was an illegal Haunter, because I'm pretty sure you can't catch it anywhere lower than level 25, and it evolves at level 25. I'm gonna go back and heal, because over half of my team is dead. So I will be one sec. Oh, okay, so there's only actually one more trainer in here. Hopefully I don't lose completely to this trainer, and I can see that the thing is, like, at the target now. Um, see, in the second room, you actually can't see what the tar what the symbol is unless you go up and walk up to it with the flashlight, or if, like, one of the random gym trainers does. But in the first room, you can see it without the flashlight, so it's like, what is the point exactly for this entire thing? Nightshade, I'm fine with that, because that doubles my power for payback. And now, Payback's a bitch, fuck you all Haunters, because you were just all really awful, and you're illegal Pokemon. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say about that. That's it's fine with me that these things go and die. Like, a, Haunter is a really, really good Pokemon, though. Like, I have used Haunter slash Gengar in so many playthroughs of this game, it's not even funny. And the, the thing that sucks about... Haunter the most is the fact that you have to trade it to evolve it. And if you don't have if you don't know anybody who like has a Pokemon game then you're kind of screwed. Spite. Thank you for that. That was just that was that titillated me slightly. The, a lot of these ghost types just have like super annoying moves that there's really no purpose for them having. Like Spite. Like Spite is just freaking annoying because they just lower your PP and make you go back to the Pokemon Center to heal even though, like, you just went back in the last battle and nobody died, and it's like, Jesus, <laughs> it's it's annoying. Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely going back to the Pokemon Center now because, like, I don't really have any paybacks left. I think I have two, which I kind of need it for the gym leader. But, yeah, I will be, I'll be one sec again. Okay, we're back again. So this is star shape this time. It changes every time. And if this person would get out of my way, that would be very nice. Uh, so it's moon, star, there we go. Uh, I think there's like a target and like a triangle and a square or something like that. I'm not too, too sure. Uh, let's just make sure that everybody's all up to tip-top shape. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Let's just talk to this chick. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Finally, you have arrived. Since I have come to this country, always I try to learn new things. 
They hold contests in this city. I say to myself, en fin, I will excel. Uh, that, that is why I dress this way. C'est un performance. I don't know how to say performance in French, I just sort of suck. Also, I, I study Pokemon very much. I have become... Oh, I have come to be the gym leader or whatever. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. That is what a gym leader does. No. Oh, I just... I, I suck at doing a French voice so badly. Like, you have no idea. Um, now, this is Leader Fantina, and I feel the need to mention this because I haven't mentioned this until now, but in Diamond and Pearl, this is actually the fifth gym. As odd as that is, they actually switched the order of the gyms to change the pacing. Uh, and that's because we are far, far, far less than halfway in between the second and fourth gyms. There's a very, very long stretch in between them. Um, so I'm I'm going to be officially that guy, because I fooled you three times. And I'm going to st stockpile three stockpiles, and then just, just wreck this person's shit. And that is not what I wanted you to do at all. I just really did not want that burn right now. Um, I'm definitely going to heal that, like, after I kill this thing. Because I'm probably just going to use, like, some kind of a move. Uh... I'm probably going to use a super potion after this too, just to be a cheap asshole. Um, and yeah, just just because I don't want Zep to die. Because this is a really hard gym. And basically, if you can use any strategy to your advantage, do it. Like, because this gym is hard. Uh, I am not kidding you. Uh, this is definitely like one of the hardest gyms in the series, I think. Because um, I, think, I think Whitney's the hardest gym leader in the Pokemon series, but, like, I, I'd say this is probably, like, the hardest gym, just because all the trainers and everything are so over-leveled at this point. Uh, I'm gonna use Astonish, because I think that's a special move. I'm not too, too sure. Okay, that's probably not special. So, I'm gonna get rid of this burn here, if I have anything for it, which I hopefully do. Uh, Ice Heal, Chesto Berry? No, it's Sleep. Paralysis. Uh, Pija. Aspir? You gotta be f I have two things for defrosting, but nothing, nothing for burns. This is just fantastic. Um, so I don't know, I'll just do my thing. I guess I don't have raised attack or anything like that, so I'm just gonna, this is just gonna be normal damage. Um, but it still kinda sucks, not gonna lie, it's pretty awful damage. And I was actually contemplating switching out that turn just because like the strategy that I was gonna use didn't work as well as I thought it would. Shadow Sneak, there we go, that's what I want. Uh, because now my damage is going to be doubled, and I'm going to die to burn damage. Great. Great, I'm going to die to burn damage. Everybody everybody loves dying to burn damage. Right after they set up, like, super defenses on the first Pokemon. Just, this is fantastic. Um, I guess I'll send out Tertiary, because it's the only other Pokemon that I have that knows a super effective move on this thing. Because all three of this gym leader's Pokemon have the ability Levitate, which is kind of annoying. I don't think I ever actually said what this thing knows. It knows Will-O-Wisp, Shadow Sneak, Future Sight, and Pursuit. Um, Future Sight, I'm glad that it didn't use that because that's kind of annoying. This is the big one. The big one. Um, this is Miss Magius. This is the, the big Pokemon that she has, and it's the difficult thing to take out. This is the mill tank of this generation. Like, just... It's ridiculous. Um, but it knows Confuse Ray, Psy Beam, Shadow Ball, and Magical Leaf. I'm pretty sure she's sending this thing out just because it knows, like, Psy Beam and Shadow Ball. Because that, those will both do a lot of damage to Tertree. I was not expecting them to do that much. But thankfully that it has a Citrus Berry because now I can't kill it next turn even if I get a Quick Claw, which I just did. So yeah, I don't know. She's probably going to use like a super potion or something this next turn. Critical hit! Critical! Ah! Oh, damn it. Well, now I'm dead. Um, I'm contemplating reviving Tertiary just because it's the only thing that I have that's going to do anything to this guy. But at the same time, I have Snuggles. I have my ringer Snuggles here who could possibly burn this thing, which would be very, very nice. Please burn it because like, I know this thing doesn't have any physical attacking moves, but, like, the burn would be so helpful just for doing a little bit more damage. And Shadow Ball, of course. 
And yeah, normal types not really going to benefit you here just because of the fact that um, you like don't have immunity to its two other attacking moves. I mean, you have immunity to Confuse Ray and Shadow Ball, but not Psy Beam or Magical Leaf. Oh god, I'm in a bad situation here. Uh, go by douche. You can do it. And I'm banking on Tertiary right here. This is like all... Because I'm pretty certain that Zep is not going to be able to live a single Shadow Ball. Because it's kind of frail at this point. I'm just waiting for Zep to evolve, basically, and then it'll become a lot more useful. Psy Beam. Oh god, you can't kill me with your power shield attacks because I have a level 2 by douche. I will destroy your entire team. By douche uses hyper beam. The attack missed. It's not very effective. It doesn't affect the opponent at all. What are you thinking, you idiot? Why did you use that? Actually, if I could teach by douche hyper beam, I should totally do it. I'm not sure if you can. But I would definitely do it if I if I, if you can, and if I have the TM, or if I could find the TM or something, I would definitely do it. Uh, Water pulse, please live. Minimum damage hacks, please. One HP, come on. No, not even close. Critical hit just as a screw you. Thanks game, thanks for that. That's just that's because I know you're just what I need, just what I needed. Did it, it, it uh, something words. Thank you for that quick claw. Screw you, whoever said that I should put the Soothe Bell on this tertiary because that quick claw just saved my ass, basically. Um, and tertiary grew to level 24. Definitely not the Pokemon that I thought would have killed that Miss Magius. And I know I'm cheap. I used a revive. I should have lost this battle. Whatever. They put it in the game for a reason, and that reason is to be a cheap asshole. So, yeah, that's pretty much my reasoning behind that. Uh, this is Haunter, the last Pokemon, because it's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 Yeah, this Haunter knows Confuse Ray, Shadow Claw, Hypnosis, and Sucker Punch. Basically, this Pokemon is an absolute troll. And because it's just going to Confuse Ray you and Hypnosis sometimes i don't know i'm expecting it to hypnosis yeah there there's the hypnosis and there's the bite for the kill the kill the claw i don't know what i was going for there but whatever um either way i won the battle i shouldn't have won but i won you were so fantastically strong i did not get to read the rest of the text and people probably don't want me to do this terrible french accent that probably sounds more like russian I am dumbfounded. Oh, so very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. Oh, I shall honor it with the gym badge. And fuck your shit, Fentina, because I fucked it. Uh, that badge will let you use the hit move Defog, the most useless hit move in the game, but for some reason it's required. Um, and yeah, that contains Shadow Claw. I don't want to teach Defog to any Pokemon. Uh, you three badges, but you must not forget this. There are many other trainers. Strong trainers, too. There are many more in Sinnoh. Have patience, and you must become stronger, one at a time. That was advice, I guess. Cool. I, I, that didn't even click in my brain. That was one of those things that literally just went, like, in one ear and out the other. Like, I just did not hear what she said at all. Um, that's gonna be it for this episode of Pokemon Platinum. Thank you guys very much for watching this broken-ass gym battle that I should have lost. Um, and in the next episode, we are going to be leaving Heart Home City and going east towards, uh, Salacion Town. I don't know how to say the town's name or whatever. Uh, but I will see you guys then. Goodbye, and thank you for watching.